or even worse yet, you see someone lay down, I'm gonna set your feet, and then you see. Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. And today I wanted to address those of you who set up primarily with your toes back. So that's with your toes back, heels are off the ground. If you set up with that type of a style, I wanna do this video for you guys, all right? So what I normally see with this type of a setup is pretty basic stuff. It's just get the feet set and then you see someone plop down their upper back or you, know, you just see someone lay down here, they get their feet, right? They push back onto their traps a little bit into their back, but you don't really see any increased positioning. You know, this is pretty much the extent of it, or even worse yet, you see someone lay down, set your feet, and then you see foot movement after that. All right, I'm not in a good arch. My butt is pretty planted to the pad. You know, there's so much more positioning that we can create other than what you traditionally see just getting down here pushing back and that's the extent of it you know this this is a long range of motion for me I'm not really getting into a good position at all all right so how you want to approach the setup toes back is first get the feet set okay so where you set your feet is going to determine where you ultimately end up on the pad all right so if I have my feet set way down here and I use this bar, this leverage, to come down into that system, right? Tuck back, I'm gonna be way far out. If I keep my feet back here, and I load into it, see I end up underneath the pad, or underneath the bar a little bit more, okay? So I'm in a better position there. So where you set your feet, ultimately, is going to determine where you end up underneath the bar. And you want nice, short, efficient takeout. You don't want to be so far out, you got to drag across the Grand Canyon, okay? So, again, how I'd approach it, I'd get your feet set first as a toes back bencher so you can load into the quads and get onto your traps. That's ultimately what we're trying to do, get onto our traps. All right, so I like to use the bar as leverage in this case. So like I said, just kind of swinging around the bar, plant, and then make sure you can drive back onto the traps to gain some positioning. Or you can set your feet and have someone assist you underneath. Okay, so you get your footing, all right? And then you can have someone kind of push your shoulders down into that position, all right? But I don't want my hips to be in contact with the pad much, all right? I want just that hover and I want to drive everything back onto my traps. Okay, so if you set up with your toes back and you prioritize setting your shoulders first, I'd encourage you to think more about what you're doing with your feet in terms of placement, having someone push you into that, that loading, or use the leverage of the bar to help get yourself into that position. All right, it doesn't seem like a huge change but all those little things gaining a little bit of positioning I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to bench this much less it's just less work for you okay less range of motion and that's the name of the game just trying to put yourself in the best position to make sure that the weight you're moving is as efficient as possible don't have to travel quite as far so here's a different way to approach the setup toes back bencher coach Ben here you know, where to find me? You can meet me. On a bench. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here and the most recent video down here. And if you're interested in joining our online coaching program, you can check out the link in the description box.